Hello YouTube and welcome back to Allie's Wonderland Creations. I am Alice Serafin and I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in the United States. I just realized that I forgot to change my whiteboard for video 21. Yeah, that was me. So anyways, welcome to my channel everybody. This is October 2024's Paper Pumpkin Alternative Video number 22. Yes, we're getting up there. I am so excited. I'm wondering if I'm going to make it to 30. I, I just might. I really might. That's going to be my goal. If I make it to 30, I'm going to be so over the moon, ecstatic. It's going to be fabulous. So, Nest of Christmas October 2024 kit consisted of 10 cards. You got two designs. This is what they look like. On the back, a QR code to show you how to put those cards together. This one down here will lead you how to purchase a set of three dies that coordinated with October, November, and December's kits. A visual of everything in the kit and then the coordinating colors. Videos one through five. I show you everything in the kit after that. I just move on. So you got a cardinal, a speckly stamp, a evergreen branch, Merry and Christmas. They're two separate ones. Um, the salmon berries or berries. <coughs> pardon me, and happy holidays, joyful thoughts to you this season. So this is the moving on part, right? And we're ready to rock and roll. This is the trash bit card. So I didn't do hardly any prep work. I just have an idea in my head. So get ready. So my card base is going to be one of those narrow ones because it's one of those pre-made ones. But please note that a regular size card base, my measurements will be that. Five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Layer number one will be the same. Two half inch strips that are half an inch by five and a half. Mine just have to be cut down. They were just scrap. So then we have both, okay, both scrap bits. You're going to need both of them. We're going to put them together. Now I want to show you something. Let me see. I need something that can show this to you. All right. On the scrap bit, let me put these side by side. If you're going to see, one side is wider and one side is narrower. We want the side that's wider. We want both of the wider ones. This side, we're going to cut off both of this side on both of these. Um, it might be better if we put these together. So what we're going to do is we're going to combine these two like so. So we have four like so. Now, yes, we are going to have to trim the top off. The top and the bottom will be trimmed a little bit, but don't trim it off till you put it on your card. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to glue these together like so, and then we're going to put it in the guillotine and um, put it together. So glue it wherever you want. You're going to put two together like so, and that's going to give us four. So I'm going to glue mine here, maybe. All right, so I'm going to glue mine here. Now you want to get all of that... The two bottom is what I'm going for. I was wondering if I was going to figure out something to do with the trash bit, and I'm really liking the idea that's in my head. I can't say what I've come up with yet because it hasn't come to fruition, right? So there we have it. So I'm going to start off with um, <clears throat> just snipping, maybe, just snipping this excess off just to get it out of the way. So that all we're not using. Now you will need some Christmas DSP. Any Christmas DSP with the scene is going to work for you. I'm going to use Sentimental Christmas. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use this with the trees. This is going to be my scene. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my guillotine and I'm going to make a straight cut. 
So all I want to do is get it right to the edge and cut off those diamonds. And it is right at three and a half, it looks like. So let's see if it gives me a nice clean cut. Oh, I'm going to have to go probably um, the little mark right before. Nope, it's going to be that 16th mark, like 3 and 8 sixteenths is what it's going to be. That's going to give me a nice straight line. Now, we know this has to get to five and a half, which is right here. Oh my gosh, it is like so close. It's at five and a half, so I don't have to do anything. I thought there was going to be some top and bottom. But we don't have to do anything. Yay. All right, so there's our trash bit. Look at that. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Awesome. All right, so let's cut our DSP. So our DSP then, we know it's, oh, this is just shy of that. Okay. We know that our trash bit is at, Let's see the trash bit because I'm thinking my measurement was off. It's not three and eight sixteenths. It is, yes. <laughs> it's not one, two, three. It's three and four sixteenths. All right. So my trap, this piece then is going to be at three and three eighths. Okay. So one, two, three eighths, because this is where the trash bit's going to end. So we're just going to go back a sixteenth of an inch. We're going to cut. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use this and I should have that all in my window. I do and nothing is on the side. So I'm going to turn it this way because we know it's at five and a half and I'm going to come down an eighth of an inch. So five and three eighths and cut. So that's my DSP piece. And if you all don't mind, I just put, I know there's a scrap bit in here. I can write on. <laughs> Is it maybe? No. Yes. Hold on. All right. So, scrap is at three and four sixteenths by, oh, by five and a half. And then DSP is at three. Oh, my giddy heart, honey. What are you saying, Alice? So, this is at... I just want to look at it again. Okay. One, two, three, four sixteenths. That's right. And this one, then, is at... One, two... Is it three six three eighths? That's why I kept wanting to say sixteenths, but it's at three eighths by five and three eighths. All right, I need that for my book. We can keep this, we're keeping this. This is gonna go over there. So see how pretty that's gonna be, yes. And then our real red is gonna go on the side. So it depends on what we are going to color that. So we could do it in Coastal Cabana, which I wasn't going to. I was going to do it in the Shaded Spruce, and I'm going to stick with that. So now we're going to sponge on this. So we need this. We need scrap paper. load it up and we're going to ink it up straight 
straight up and down. Remember, you can add ink, you just can't take it off, right? You can also breathe hot air on it and it'll activate some more ink. up and down little bit here oh I don't even need to do this we're cutting this out I'm doing all this work here and we're cutting those out <laughs> I forgot I'm not going to close that up. There's no point we're going to be using it. Yes, guys, we're cutting these out. So, hmm, how do I want to cut that out? I do want to cut it out. I know I do. I know, I know, I know I do. So, you may not want to. I do. I really do want to cut this out. Just trying to figure out how I want to cut it out. I don't want to make like a straight line. Oh, maybe I don't cut it out. <clears throat> it does kind of look like windows. I guess we'll leave it in. My, I wanted to cut it out. Guys, I'm going to go for it. I'm just going to go for it. Okay, so I'm going to get in the curve here. And I am just going to cut and curve it. There we go. That's all there is to it. Just go with the curve. Oh, so happy I cut it out. There's one. I'm doing both. Not doing this one, just these. There's one. Because this is what I saw in my head. There's two. Oh, yes, that works. That works. Now look. Now we have that gorgeous Christmas trees in the background. That's what we were after. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right. We can glue this to that piece. We can. Why would I cut that out? Mm, because I can. Mm -hmm. Because I like it. Yes. Okay, we're going to glue our DSP now to this trash bit. Voila! Look at that! Yes, this needs to be cut in half because it really doesn't pointless. The, the size of it was absolutely pointless. Sorry guys, but it really was. This now is either going to go up or down and I like it going down and that's going to go in there like so. This then will come in there. Yes, it's all coming together. It's not a hard trash bit card, not at all. And I put that away, but we need it because now we are going to stamp Merry Christmas and oh, Happy Holidays. What am I stamping? Okay, guys, I know that has a Merry and a Christmas in the stamp set. 
However, this Merry Christmas is from October 2020's Merry Christmas. Let me show you. I have kept it out this whole time. Oops, where is it? Here it is. It's stuck onto something. Hold on. Right here. Joy to the world, right? I was seeing if it had um, <laughs> peace on earth, but it doesn't. So Merry Christmas right here. I like this one, guys, for two reasons. Number one, Merry and Christmas is together, but the C, it's capitalized. And that's just like one of my little OCD things. I mean, I have used the one that came in the kit, but this, this is just a better fit for me personally. So that's just my hang up. It's just me. And it fits in the space as well. So now you could take the little evergreen branch and stamp right there. We could. Let's just do it. If I say we could, let's just go for it. And we're going to do full strength. Ta-da! And let's do a little bit just because we can. Right there in the corner. So we have that done. And we are going to get our card base now. Here's our card base. We can move this out of the way. We are going to take our real red strips and put them one on the left and one on the right. So straight down the sides. I mean, you could put a whole piece of real red on this if you wanted, but I would think that is a waste since you won't see most of it. And I am just going to fussy cut it off. There's that bit. Next, this side, I can do bigger than I did on that side. Oops. Right to the edge. Let's cut it off. Recycled bin. There we have it. Now this piece is going to go right in the center. And that real red just makes it pop. And because this is not going to fit there. So we need to add some of my great little scraps that I keep. So let's open, get in here. I know there's long little strips in here. Like here's a strip. There's a piece. We're just going to put a couple in there. Yep. Nope, not big enough. Oh, we got a nice little chunk of strips here. And we're just going to fussy cut them off just so it lays down. So. Nicely. I think all I need is those two. I don't need any. I might just need those pieces. So another strip. Nope, we're going to need a little bit more than that. But now I can retire this piece and this piece. I think this needs a little bit more glue underneath it though. All right. Those pieces can get retired to the recycle bin. This piece now can get glued down and we just need to put glue on our strips, the landing strips. Ooh, 
and alongside the edge here because that'll be touching the real red. I could have just put glue along the edge of the real red. That would have worked as well. Don't roll off the dust there. Oh no, guys. <laughs> Almost catastrophe happened. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time that would have happened to me. Would not have been the first time. Oh, looks like I might need to put that on the guillotine. <laughs> there. Did I just not get that on straight? That's what I did. I just couldn't get it straight. Well... There we go. Now it's straight. No, it isn't straight. What's wrong with me? Give me a second. I don't like it not being straight. Now it's straight. All right. So we need a little bit of tear tape. Two pieces. One right there. One right here. And did I say up or down? I can't remember now which way. Oh, they're facing down. So they're going to come off to the side. Oops, a little too far. Oh, that's still too far. Okay, there. This one's going to go this way. And this is now going to go right there and we need like little strips of dimensionals or something like that. And we have little strips. Though that is like really thick for this card. <clears throat> I could do little paper strips and it not stick out so much. But I'm not sure yet. Okay. Because I'm not sure if I want to put bling on it or not. I might just leave it. So I have, I may not even use this. So I was going to put some up here, like at the top. And some in here. So maybe like inside the window. Looking, oh, I like that a lot. Okay. <clears throat> we need to make these square. Because this, guys, is from the envelope. You know that envelope <clears throat> that I messed up? So I cut this out of here and I had an extra envelope flap. So this is what that is from. So we need to make it a straight edge. Oops. It's like a hair that just won't go away. So let's see. Let's take a look-see. So I love that absolutely love it and I'm thinking I'm going to use paper to bump it up and not dimensionals only because I just think dimensionals are going to be too much I don't know why I feel like that I just am looking at the card and I think dimensionals just be too 
too much. I just think it, I just think they're going to be too much. So <clears throat> some of you may disagree with me, but I mean, I just love the look of it. I just want it up a little bit. And goodness knows I have. So now that we determined these are not what I thought they were, I can use these. So right to about there, we just need a little strip top and bottom. One there and one there. needs a shave. And then this now won't have any, yes, that's going to sit nicely on there. Oh, no, it's going to need a little bit more. It's still not level with the ribbon. Right about there. Now it's level with the ribbon. All right, and these pieces. And that's going to sit perfectly in there. And I like that it's just flaring out just that little bit. So little Hank the other day, he's like, Deadpool and Wolverine, can I watch it yet? And we're like, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. In about four years, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> no, absolutely not. Mm. Oh, he was so funny. I don't know how he thought he was going to get away with that one. No, not a chance. So look at that. I am so happy with this. Yes, I really am. And I'm so happy that I went with my paper bump ups 
thin dimensionals on this card. So we have an envelope somewhere. I know I do. This card came with one. So now let's go ahead and stamp the inside. Oh, I'm just, I love it. I just love it. All right. So we are going to stamp happy holidays on the envelope. Where's my, of course, happy holidays is going to be in real red. We're going to stamp this first of all in full strength. Then here. <clears throat> now I'm going to ink up Happy Holidays off camera. And we're going to stamp this right there. Envelope check done. Next, we're going to bring in, we're going to reverse do it. We're going to bring in the real red. And we're going to stamp. Of course, I had to put the shaded spruce. Joyful thoughts to you this season in the center and then we need our little evergreen branch stamp off twice and we want it oh it is going this way we want it the same way there we have it so that wasn't too bad for a trash bit card and for having an idea in my head, right? I don't think that was too bad, guys. I hope you like it as I do. We are definitely going to give the evergreen branches some eyelashes, right? With the black wink Estella. It just, wow. It does for <laughs> it what eyelashes mascara does for us. If you can see to put that on that right me no not a chance it's sad when you have to have your daughter do things like that for you or you make a mess and have to use a q-tip she's like mom you have a three times magnification mirror I'm like yeah I probably need a 20 times magnification mirror to really do it to see she just shakes her head and smiles. It's sad, but that's about it. I wonder if they make one that strong. All right, so I'm not going to do any of that, but we are going to wink at Stella, our little trees over here. Just give them a little sparkle. Just in the background there, right? Just so they sparkle in our little berries. That's all there. Oh, we could, no, we're going to keep it. I'm like, we could have those little cluster berries, but we're not going to. So that is my trash bit card. So hopefully you guys like it. I absolutely love it. Had a great time creating this one. Yes. I'm so pleased it came out. So thanks for watching everybody. 22. So, hmm. Eight more cards to go. Can I make 30? I hope so. So thanks everybody for watching and I'm going to invite you to come back and visit me in my wonderland. Bye bye for now.